With OpenAI function calling, we can provide ChatGPT with current and up-to-date information like the geolocation of an IP address or the current weather forecast. When you chat directly with ChatGPT and ask about its knowledge cutoff date, you get the following answer. Please note that my knowledge cutoff is in September 2021, so I may not have information on events or developments that have occurred after that time. To overcome this limitation, we can use OpenAI's function calling to provide ChatGPT with current data. We write our own functions and let ChatGPT use them to fetch fresh API data. So let's dive in. For this example, we only need to install Flowwise. Install Flowwise with npm install g Flowwise. If you have already installed Flowwise, upgrade it to the latest version. When we start Flowwise, it runs on port 3000. So we navigate to the localhost port 3000. Here, when you go to the marketplace, you see some chat flows. And you will notice a new tools tab. Feel free to explore some tools and how they are implemented. A custom tool requires a name and a description and optionally an icon. The output schema can be empty or contain one or more parameters. In the last box, we put our JavaScript function, which can be a standalone function or can fetch data from other APIs. When we check some other tools like the send discord message, we see that it has a property called content, which is required. This parameter is used in the JavaScript function with a dollar sign in front. In that way, we can inform ChatGPT which arguments our function needs to operate. Back to Marketplace, we go to Chat Flows. To jumpstart our flow, we use OpenAI Agent. This is an agent that uses OpenAI's function calling to pick the right tool, in our case, our custom tool. After selecting the OpenAI Agent, we click Use Template to start creating our flow. First, we remove the provided default tools to make space for our own custom tools and do some adjustments and positioning. After everything is in place, we search for Custom Tool and drag and drop two custom tools to the canvas. One to get the location of an IP address and one for getting the weather in a location. We do some adjustments to fit all of the components on the right place on our canvas. After everything is in right position, we are ready to implement our first custom tool. This tool is for obtaining the current location of an IP address. We give it a name like get IP address geolocation and a description like this function gets an IP address and returns the country and city and longitude and latitude and other geolocation information about that IP address. This information can change over time, so we must extend ChatGPT's functionality by providing a function to fetch the current location of an IP address. To implement the function, we visit Rapid API. Rapid API provides many APIs in different categories like sport, translation, weather, stock data, flight data, geolocation, and so on. We can choose a category and even search for free or popular APIs to connect our flows to YouTube, TikTok, and other services. When you choose an API, you can subscribe to test it. With the basic plan, you get enough API calls per month to test the API. For our case, we simply need an API to give back the location of an IP address. So we search for free geo IP and select it. I have already signed up for this API, so we can test the endpoint. It has one required parameter, which is the IP address. Here we use JSON and give the IP 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and test the endpoint. The result includes country code and city and latitude and longitude and other information. 
So it simply does the job. To integrate the API in our code, we go to code snippet. Here we can choose between many languages and sometimes different approaches. We are using Flowwise, so we use Node.js and choose fetch and copy the code. Back in Flowwise, we paste the code into the JavaScript function box, but we need to make some adjustments. First, we need to configure the required parameter IP, which we define in the output schema. It can be of type string, and we gave it a description like IP address like 8.8.8.8 .8 and define it as a required parameter. To use the parameter in our script, we have to reference it as $IP. So we remove the hard-coded IP and add our parameter $IP to the URL string with a plus sign. We are not done yet. We need to return the result of the API. So to show that we have used the function, we add a common line with IP function as information. The final script with the changes can be accessed on a GitHub gist. The link is below. Finally, we click add to close the pop-up. Next, we want a tool that give us the weather of a location. We choose the name, get the current weather of a location and add the description. This function returns the current weather information of a location given by latitude and longitude. Although we can use Rapid API, this time we use the sample provided by Flowwise and click on see examples. Here we need two parameters, latitude and longitude a string as we add them to the URL and both are required. First, we add latitude as a string and the description latitude of the location and we define it as a required parameter. Next, we do the same with longitude. We add it as a parameter with type string and a description longitude of the location and define it again as required. Next, we modify the hard-coded URL and add our parameters proceeding with the dollar sign in the URL. So we cut the string and add our parameters with plus sign to create a new URL string with dynamic parameters. We add optionally a command line with the weather function as information to see in the log files when this function is called. And finally, add it. We can edit anytime a tool again, and for example, we can edit the weather function tool and add a console log with the result of the API call for better debugging. The final script is provided again in a GitHub gist, and the link is below. We save our changes and add our OpenAI API key. Check to use GPT 3.5 Turbo 0613 and lower the temperature to be more deterministic. Notice we have buffer memory, but it doesn't need any configuration. Finally, we connect the dots and save our flow and give it a name like Flowwise OpenAI Function Calling. Now it's time to test our application. Before that, we can use a DNS lookup to see where the nearest server of wikipedia.org is. Depending on your location, you may get a different IP. We are located in Germany, so we get back this IP. Let's see where this IP is located. So, we open the chat box and ask ChatGPT, where is the location of the IP address 911981741192? And we get a well-formatted, user-friendly message back with the information that is located in Amsterdam, Netherlands. As we use the buffer memory, we can refer to the location as there and ask again, what's the weather like there? This time, a weather function is called and we get our answer with the current weather information in Amsterdam. Finally, we ask a question that doesn't require any of our custom functions like does the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, directly apply to this location? Sure enough, we get a positive answer 
as it is located in the AU, but this time ChatGPT did not use any of our functions. We can check it in the terminal. It has used one time our IP function and one time our weather function. But for the GDPR question, ChatGTP did not use any of our functions and could answer the question directly. To wrap it up, it is very important to use function calling either directly in code or in no-code tools like Flowwise. For using AI in businesses, you need to rely on your information and try to minimize the hallucination of the LLMs. So whenever possible, use your own functions and gain control over the data. Good luck.